Hi, this is Sir J, ang inyong maestro ng Sipnayan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last time, pinag-usapan natin ang sequence and finding the end term of it. So ngayon naman, pag-uusapan natin how to write the terms of the sequence given the formula or given the end term. So, let's get into the video. Bago natin isulat ang mga terms ng isang sequence given end term, alamin muna natin ano ba yung end term of the sequence. Ang end term of the sequence is the general term or the general rule based on the pattern shown in the sequence. Ito ang sinusunod natin para makuha ang bawat terms ng isang sequence. At kapag alam mo na ang general rule o ang general term ng isang sequence, makukuha mo na din ang general equation na gagamitin mo para malaman ang mga terms ng sequence by substituting the value of n. Pero kung given na ang general equation, mas madali mo nang malalaman ang mga terms na gusto mong hanapin. Kumagamit tayo ng n to represent any term of the sequence and it is denoted as the subscript. Since we are asking for the nth term of the sequence, we're going to designate that as a sub n. As you can see, n is denoted as the subscript. Paano naman kung specific term na kahanap sa inyo? Like 11th term. So, kapag 11th term, we're going to designate that as a sub 11. Therefore, the value of n is equal to 11. How about 20th term? So, if it is 20th term, we're going to designate that as a sub 20. And the value of n is equal to 20. Now, how are we going to write the terms of the sequence given the n term? So, let's have an example. Write the first four terms of the sequence given n term a sub n equals n plus 4. So, ano nga ba yung first four terms ng sequence? So, ang first four terms ng sequence, so we're going to designate those as a sub 1 for the first term, a sub 2 for the second term, a sub 3 for the third term, and a sub 4 for the fourth term. Ngayon, paano natin nahanapin ang mga terms ng sequence na ito? Unang gagawin nyo is write the general equation which is a sub n equals n plus 4. After that, i-substitute natin ang value ng n. So, simulan muna natin sa a sub 1 or the first term. So, ang first term ay designated as a sub 1. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng n ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, papalitan natin yung n ng value niya and in this case, since first term, ang value ng n ay 1 plus 4. Then, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Ibig sabihin, ang first term natin ay 5. E paano kung second term? So, if we are asked to find for the second term, so that is denoted by a sub 2. If it is a sub 2, ang value ng n natin ay 2. So, n or we're going to replace n with its value, and that is 2 plus 4. We are asked to perform this operation. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Ibig sabihin, the second term natin ay 6. Now, let's solve for the third term. So, pag third term ang hanapin, ang value ng n natin ay 3. So, substitute the value of n to the formula, so that will become 3 plus 4. And 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Ibig sabihin, ang third term natin ay 7. Now, the fourth term. Para makuha ang fourth term, do the same process. A sub 4 is equal to, if you are looking for A sub 4, then the value of N is equal to 4. So, 4 plus 4. And 4 plus 4, that is equal to 8. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating fourth term ay 8. Kung nakita nyo naman ang sequence, mapapansin nyo, from 5, naging 6, naging 7, at napansin nyo na ang sequence. So, pwede na hindi na kayo mag-solve or isulat nyo na lang ang kasunod na term. Let's have another example. 
Write the first three terms of the sequence given the nth term, a sub n equals 2n minus 3. So, kapag tinatanong kayo ng first three terms, ibig sabihin, ahalapin natin ng a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. So, the general equation is a sub n equals 2n minus 3. Now, let us find for a sub 1. a sub 1 is equal to the value of n for a sub 1 is 1. So, substitute it to the formula 2 times 1 minus 3. Now, 2 times 1, that is 2 minus 3. And 2 minus 3, that is equal to negative 1. Now, for the second term, we're going to designate that as a sub 2. Then, let us solve by substituting the value of n. And the value of n for a sub 2 is 2. So, 2 times the value of n, which is 2, minus 3. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4, minus 3. And 4 minus 3, that is 1. Hence, the second term is 1. Now, the last term, which is the third term, so that is a sub 3 equals 2. The value of n in this case is 3 minus 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 minus 3. And 6 minus 3, that is equal to 3. Therefore, the third term is 3. Ibig sabihin, ang first three terms ng sequence ay negative 1, 1, at 3. Eh, paano kung ganito yung example? Write the first five terms of the sequence given the nth term a sub n is equal to 3 raised to n. So, ang gagawin natin, we're going to find the first five terms from a sub 1 to a sub 5. The first thing you have to do is write the general equation which is a sub n equals 3 raised to n. Now, let's solve for the first term. That is a sub 1 equals 3 raised to the value of n in this case is 1. So, that is 3 raised to 1. And 3 raised to 1 is 3. So, ang ibig sabihin ng exponent sa taas, it tells you kung ilang beses niya imumultiply yung base sa kanya sarili. Now, let's proceed for a sub 2. To get a sub 2, substitute the value of n to the formula 3 raised to n. In this case, the value of n is 2. So, ang sabi ko nga kanina, multiply ang base sa kanya sarili. Ang base natin ay 3. So, 3 raised to 2 is equal to 3 times 3. And 3 times 3, that is 9. How about a sub 3 for the third term? So, to get the third term, substitute again the value of n to the formula. That is 3 raised to the value of n, which is 3. And 3 raised to 3 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. That is equal to 27. And the fourth term, so that is designated as a sub 4, which is equal to 3 raised to 4, since the value of n in this case is 4. And 3 raised to 4 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that is equal to 81. And the last term, which is the fifth term, and designated as a sub 5, is equal to 3 raised to 5. Since the value of n is 5. And 3 raised to 5 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that is equal to 242. Hence... The first five terms of the sequence I 3, 9, 27, 81, at 243. Ayan. Now, let us proceed to the last example. What is the 10th and 12th term of the sequence? Which nth term is a sub n equals n over n plus 1? So, in this case, ang hahanapin natin ay ang ikasampo at kalabing dalawang term. So, kapag i-designate natin ang ikasampong term or the 10th term, 
So that is designated as A sub 10. But first, let us write the formula. So the formula is N over N plus 1. Okay. Now, in this case, the value of N is 10. So let us substitute the value of N to the given general equation. So that is 10 since we replace n with its value over 10 plus 1. Then, we're asked to perform the indicated operation that will be equal to 10 over 10 plus 1 that is equal to 11. Therefore, the 10th term is 10 over 11. How about the 12th term? So, that is designated as a sub 12 equals so let's uh, substitute already so the value of n is 12 so that will be equal to 12 over 12 plus 1 then th in this case that will be equal to 12 over 12 plus 1 that is 30 ibig sabihin ang 10th term natin ay 10 over 11 at ang 12th term natin ay 12 over 30. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin kung may natutunan kayo sa diniscuss natin. So, write the first three terms of the sequence given the n term. Number 1, a sub n equals 5n minus 2. Number 2, a sub n equals 12 minus 3n. Number 3, a sub n is equal to the quantity of negative 2 raised to n. And number 4, a sub n equals n minus 2 over n plus 3. And that's the end of our video. So, naniniwala ako na you already know how to write the terms of the sequence given the n term. And if you still have questions regarding this topic, please write your questions in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button. So, once again, this is Sir J, ang inyong maestro ng sipnayan na nag-iiwan ng katagang mag-aral at matuto.